and prosperous Malaysia. To further illuminate this synergy and guide us on this journey of progress, we're deeply honored to have with us the architect of Economy Madani, a leader who champions innovation and inclusivity, driving Malaysia's journey towards a digitally powered future. Ladies and gentlemen, may we now call upon Yang Ahmad Berhormat Datuk Sri Anwar bin Ibrahim, the Prime Minister of Malaysia, to deliver his officiating speech for this event. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Salam sejahtera. Uh, rakan saya Ruth Porat dan pasukan Google Rakan-rakan Menteri yang membuat Menteri Besar, saudara-saudara, saudara-saudara yang saya muliakan. Sekali lagi kita menyaksikan suatu acara dan perkembangan yang sangat uh, membanggakan. Telah diberikan perhatian sebagai suatu gelanggang pelaburan yang bermakna untuk mengangkat keupayaan kita dalam bidang digital. Jadi saya percaya dalam kerangka ekonomi madani, salah satu tunggaknya dan bersama dengan beberapa dasar yang kita umumkan dari sudut pelan perindustriannya, digitalnya, hijau, itu dapat kita penuhi dengan penyertaan Google. Saya lebih tertarik kerana mendengar pandangan-pandangan dia kemukakan terutama pasukan Google dan juga Tunku Zafrul. Dia serasi dengan dasar kita. Ya, peningkatan digital dan AI, kehijauan, satu kegiatan yang mengambil kira keperluan semasa digital, uh, inklusif, dan tidak meninggalkan seluruh kelompok masyarakat. Jadi satu permulaan yang sangat bermakna bagi negara kita, apalagi dengan kehadiran Ruth Porat sendiri untuk uh, bersama memberi dokongan ini. Ministers, uh, Excellencies, Ladies and Gentlemen, now. I must uh, first express my profound gratitude to Ruth and her team for giving this support. And when, when I first met her in New York and following that in San Francisco, I can sense the seriousness of Google looking at their past experience and commitment and also success in this field and following that instructed my team to focus and listen to them and see what is required to ensure that Malaysia becomes uh, an attractive destination for their investments. Because they would mean not only benefit to the industry but more so to be able to prepare Malaysia in this field, benefit the rakyat, and ensure that we become a successful nation to harness the full potential of technology for economic advancement. Strategic policy interventions are essential and we need their input. That's why I must express my thanks to Ruth, because your team has been extremely helpful working with our team as colleagues, because there are areas that you have far excel and advanced. I mean, they, I make no apologies. I mean, this is a reality. But we remain very committed and to, to, to ensure that we do achieve this. We have to listen, make adjustments, legal framework, policy guidelines or prescriptions, the ecosystem. All these issues must be dealt with and efficiently, 
uh, executed through this sort of collaboration. So, thank you again and come again to Malaysia and be our trusted allies and friends. Now, we also aim to position Malaysia as a hub for generative AI and investments from tech partners will be critical in building a robust and secure digital infrastructure. Now, driving Malaysia towards AI leadership, the Madani government launched the AI Talent Roadmap for Malaysia and the Malaysia Artificial Intelligence Consortium as a concrete pathway towards AI advancement. Yes, we took the initiative, but we cannot <laughs> deny the fact that these initiatives are introduced after a series of uh, discussions with the uh, industry, including and particularly so AI, uh, I mean uh, Google. That's precisely the reason why I take extra pain to mention your role, your collaborative role to give the necessary input based on your past experience with other countries. Yes, the difference is being that we have and our leaders, our team, Zafru, uh, Gobin, here, uh, Lok, Fahmi, and the state. We have the humility and we acted fast enough because we want Malaysia to succeed and we believe and trust Malaysian, Malaysian companies, Malaysian civil society having the capacity to absorb this and bring up our nation as a successful, vibrant economy and hopefully the best in the region. Now, in line with efforts to present Malaysia as a competitive player in the global AI landscape, the government is establishing the National Artificial Intelligence Office. Again, on the insistence and suggestion of many of these companies, because they require this office to coordinate all initiatives related to AI technology. So, inshallah, in the next 12, 12 months, we aim to achieve several key, key outcomes, including to complete AI technology action plan. When I say 12 months, this was a suggestion by the ministers. To me, we, there's no reason why you need to wait for six month, uh, 12 months. You should be able to complete in six months. <laughs> Otherwise, we have to make some adjustments with the cabinet. And this includes a regulatory framework to increase adoption of ethical and sustainable AI technology. We'll, we will also adopt an expedite AI adoption in key sectors across Malaysia. Now, by leveraging partnerships with industry leaders and strengthening collaboration among all stakeholders, Malaysia can realize these goals and establish its role as a leading AI-driven nation in ASEAN. I whispered to Ruth that one of our priorities when we assumed the chairmanship of ASEAN is the focus on the issue of digitalization and the networking within ASEAN, having this uh, prominence not only for Malaysia but the entire region. And this is where we should be able to listen and to engage with uh, the Google team to see ways we can expedite and accelerate this process. I would also like to underscore that the national cloud policy is forthcoming, stressing four core areas. Now you can appreciate the difficulty that I'm struggling with. I am in the 70s league having to understand this new te te technology. Um, now um, I'm compelled to uh, try and understand 
what is seemingly Greek to me in the AI industry, but if I, in my generation, can try and learn and absorb, there's no reason for the younger uh, Malaysians to be able to be given the opportunity to quickly advance and excel in this field. That's why we have now an added policy to be able to ensure that Malaysia remains attractive and deal with issues raised by the industry. Now, the four core areas I mentioned. First, the Madani government will boost public service innovation and efficiency. Now, this is particularly important um, and again, precisely the reason why I have decided that after 12 years, will make um, a major departure from the existing salary scheme to make sure that uh, Malaysia remains uh, uh, efficient through an efficient public sector. And that's why the salary scheme will be implemented from the 1st of December. And more importantly, that with the revised salary scheme, the level of efficiency must also increase exponentially. Um, um, the Americans say to enhance, but I say to enhance their capability. Now, second, we seek to promote economic competitiveness and growth. Fuel economic expansion by enabling businesses, especially SMEs and startups to harness cloud technology for innovation, operational efficiency, and access to global markets. Third, we are committed to strengthening user trust and data security. The government will establish robust security frameworks and protocols to protect sensitive data and critical infrastructure in both public and private cloud environments. Finally, we will empower citizens through digital inclusivity. Our approach will be citizen-centric and inclusive, utilizing cloud technology to enhance the accessibility and efficiency of digital first public services. The Ministry of Digital has been tasked to spearhead Malaysia's Comprehensive Digital Transformation Initiatives. Now, ladies and gentlemen, embracing technology will allow government agencies to optimize processes, lower costs, and serve the rakyat better. A notable example is, of course, the Ministry of Education's creation of the Delima platform of Google's cloud technology. I've seen it. Impressive and major contribution to enhance the level of education, the standard of education, and the proficiency of our students in acquiring and acquisition um, languages, particularly Bahasa and English. I am pleased to note that 5.5 million students and teachers in Malaysia today use the Delima platform to transform the educational experience. This effort should be emulated the whole government by the whole government machinery where appropriate. We will address this issue in the cabinet meeting tomorrow. Inshallah. And to, to alert my colleagues. If the Ministry of Education can adopt 5.5 million, there's no reason why government departments cannot immediately embark on it. This is how we run the Madani government. Our policies on attracting digital investments are clear. By modernizing Malaysia through these technological advancements, we will not only enhance efficiency and effectiveness, but also cultivate a culture of innovation and digital literacy that will permeate throughout the, throughout the country, society, country, and Inshallah, the region. From a regional perspective, we will, together with ASEAN, we will position ourselves 
as a regional champion for digital policies that are forward looking and transformative to promote a regulatory environment that encourages technological advancement and to nurture cross border collaboration i am encouraged therefore that a global tech company like google recognizes the potential of our nation and a determination to contribute to our growth in a way that is sincere and environmentally responsible i cannot overstress this we have just heard the google strategy the inclusivity the training the collaboration with the students the commitment to green technology and therefore i must state that we will continue to have partners who share our values towards a sustainable future on this note ruth and the team let me assure you that we will have all our support and thank again google for their confidence and contribution to malaysia terima kasih Thank you, Yang Mak Berhormat Perdana Menteri. Datuk Sri, may we please have the honour of having you move toward the centre of the stage, just behind our launching mechanism, towards the middle. Right. And now, I'd like to also extend a warm invitation to all our VIPs in attendance today, on stage, to join Yang Mak Berhormat Perdana Menteri in our grand breaking ceremony. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is the highlight of our event where we're coming together to celebrate Google's $2 billion investment in the country, including the development of the first Google data center and cloud region in Malaysia.